This is my website, kmsprinters.co.uk. The link is in description if you want to see that. This is my own website. You can see a few buttons on the top right, which is uh, feedback. If you click on that, feedback form comes. If you click on subscribe, the subscribe pop-up comes. And the third button is Facebook. It will, if you click on it, it will take you to my Facebook page. This website is uh, designed in Elementor and WordPress. And I have used Elementor Pro. If somebody wants to download Elementor, which is free, if you want to buy Elementor Pro, please buy a link from my description. I will get some commission out of that. For all this, these buttons, we have to go to the basics of at the back end. We need to install a plugin, WP Forms. I have already got in my website, if you see that where my mouse is. It is a basic free version. You don't need to buy a costly version or go for Pro, something like that. It will serve our purpose very well. Once it is installed and activated, you would see on the top WP Forms. It appear like that. You have to click on that. It will bring its interface. I have already created a few forms. You just need to click on Add New. I have already created a feedback form. You can see that. We have to go click on Add a New Form. And you will get a few options, basic, suggestion form, or simple form. I have created a blank form or suggestion form. You can create from either of them. Once the form is created, you see there are a few fields in the form. One is name. One, uh, the other one is email. You click on that. You can add on it. And I have used here checkboxes instead of multiple choice or drop down. It, uh, checkboxes work very better. In multiple choice, we have a problem sometimes. Uh, it does not fulfill the purpose. Checkboxes are best for such type of small survey or something like that. You just click and drag checkboxes, it will appear like that. And you have to go into field options. At the bottom, you can go advanced options and you can create inline as a single line. Instead of line wise, you can add the change the name of the options, you can add as much as any you can like. It depends on your uh, personal choices. I'm just deleting it because I'm working on my already created form. So I have created two steps of uh, check boxes. How did you find us and how you would rate us? The last box is remarks or suggestions. Same way, you can add field from paragraph text. You click and drag here, you will see it will appear like that. Again, in field options, you can change the name of the paragraph text, make it remarks or suggestions or whatever you like, and here the form is complete. Once it is complete, click on Save and give it a name. Now we go back to the other side of the form. In, in, in the second tab, back in, in the back end in WordPress, and uh, now you see, uh, it should. This form is connected to the button, which is the feedback on the top front. To create, activate that form, we need to create a pop-up, which is in under the template. You click on pop-up, and a new menu would appear in front of you. You click on uh, add a new pop-up. That pop-up is carrying the forms at the back end which we have just created in WP form. Here, in, you can click on Add New Pop-up, which is under Template and Pop-up. Once you create a new pop-up, you just give it a new name, a feedback name or any name you want. I have given a name, KMS Feedback Pop-up, just to remind you that there are so many. So you go into Element, click on Edit Elementor, and then from there you can just find WP Forms widget. Click and drag in that form, and that form is going to appear here. Once we have done that, go to Advance or Style, just play with it. You want to design as much as uh, options are there is your choice. Once you have finished all the designing, created all of that. I'm not going into that details because that's a different scenario and I will make some other videos sometime in future. So here you see I have created a form already in WP form. Just click on that feedback 
and then the list of forms would come in front of you, you choose your form there. Now going back to the pop-up, so you see there in the journal tab, after you finish the design, you find your favorite form and you insert that. Once it is inserted, it becomes a part of that pop-up. And then you can save pop-up and publish it. But the question is how to bring that form into the pop-up. You have to use the dynamic link. And that dynamic link would ask you to play with all these fields and designing. Once it is done, I'm sorry, I'm just talking faster than what I'm, my mouse is doing. So I may not be syncing with all that, but uh, I hope uh, this is my first video and you understand what I'm trying to do that. So these all fields are just for designing the pop-up or the fields of the form. You can add background colors or anything like that. Once it is saved, you have to go to the display conditions make sure you do not add condition because we are not triggering this form automatically we have to click the button and the button would click the bring the form in the front that's why do not add any condition save it you see when you click on submit the form comes up that's why i have added no conditions to this just save and close once you have done this save and close I'm not clicking on that because I've already done that. Go to now how to add this form to pop up, pop up now going to your main website. So you have learned first two steps. You need to go into home page or any page. At the bottom, you just add a single column and then you just if you want more than one buttons, you can add two, three columns. It's up to you how many buttons you want. In this case, I have added only one button, one column. And now we are going to the top buttons of uh, Elementor. Click on that. Find, add any button. Type button. Yep. You, you can choose any button. I got so many uh, plugins. That's where so many buttons are there. Simply change the text of the button, call it feedback in this case. Now here is the trick. Click on dynamic link. It will create, go to add to under action pop-up. And in pop-up, you just click on all. And now you search the form you have created. In my case, sometimes I get, uh, Elementor takes it from the first two words, which is called feedback. Or you have to type the full name. The only method is you have to <clears throat> use the perfect word so the Elementor can detect the form which is already there. So I'm going back to the WP forms to form the exact name of the form which is called feedback. So we need to type here feedback. You see it is there now it is appearing as feedback. So my form is already created. So you see there, KMS feedback. So now the pop-up is carrying the feedback button, uh, uh, pop-up, which is uh, uh, the template of the pop-up. Now, pop-up template is carrying WTP form at the back end. Here you go. And once you have created that pop up and the form is added sorry for the late response of my elementor maybe too many websites are open there you see through the dynamic link we have linked the pop up which is carrying the wp form now the question is how to use it on the side of the screen go to advance go to positioning and now here you choose inline you see it is only taking the area of the button. Now, here, from here, you see I have used the fix button. It has gone on the top left-hand side. I can play with it wherever I want to make it 
on my screen, either on the side, or in the middle, or wherever. To rotate it, we have to add in CSS classes the word rotate. And at the bottom custom CSS, we have to add some CSS. So it will be in my description. You can add the CSS strip, uh, small code from there. So I'm not adding it here because I already added there. <clears throat> Sorry. Now you can play wherever you want the feedback button. Now the thing is ready. Like you can see the three buttons on the right on the screen. It will be exactly working like that. So if you want to add more buttons, you create another section and you make similar steps. Or if you create three um, columns, you can add three different buttons and then you can play on top of each other. So this way, when you click on feedback, that form will come in front of you. Now we go back to the backend again. Here on this the main front page, there are two more questions how to keep them on every page. So either you would think we should design button on every page. No, I would say no. There is a trick I have designed and I'm happy that I'm the first one to telling on YouTube about this trick. Nobody else has pointed out to this method. How to keep that button on every page of your document, uh, sorry, website. So let's go to that. <clears throat> I have used the layers of the buttons. So let's say from the advanced options, you can use index. Now going back to the form, once it is fully created, you can create as many as pop-ups. So I have designed a technique. Let's go to the header instead of designing this button at the bottom of any page. So on the header page, you use the same all methods which I use on the while creating the button and pop-up together. What would happen? Your header or footer stays throughout your website everywhere. <clears throat> so when someone clicks on the feedback button, it should be present or uh, present on every single page of your website. So best thing is create this button under your header and make it like that exactly it has been uh, told you do so <clears throat> throughout the website wherever you go like i'm clicking on different different pages you can see when i go to a different page like cart or home or any item you see the button is on the right side because it is following the header and header is going everywhere on your website I go on any other page, you will see these buttons everywhere. Now I'm on my store page under subcategory. The buttons are still there. That's the main trick. So design the button at the bottom of your header and it will stay on your whole website. Hope you have liked my tutorial and uh, see you very soon with new more tutorials. Um, if you like it, please click on like, give some comments, Obviously, I need a lot of uh, suggestions and uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. See you until next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.